Hey what is up guys, welcome back to another 3 minute Tuesday and today we're going to be talking about how to cut metal. Before I begin, let's just make sure that you have your safety gear first. Grab a dust mask, noise protection, and gloves. I'm going to start off by bringing up tin snips because they are primarily the go-to budget method for one of the most basic forms of stock metal, which is sheet metal or softer metals like aluminum. Come in a variety of functions and sizes, but I'll save that for another video. Offset tin snips work better to make longer straight cuts, and next I'm going to talk about saws. So the coping saw is, has a rather small blade, but its wide neck allows you to cut subtractions within sheet metal or thin tubular metal. You can do this by drilling a hole and slotting that blade into that hole so you can cut out a, a subtraction from within your sheet. Now for this specific project, I'm working with 22 gauge steel and both the coping saw and the hacksaw cut on either the push or pull stroke depending on which way you orientate your blade. I normally like to use the push stroke just because I find that I have more control over it. You can tell which way the blade cuts by looking at its teeth. So if you look closely, the teeth point towards a specific direction, and if you follow that direction, that's going to lead your cut. You want to follow that direction for your cut stroke because that offers the least amount of resistance, and it's more efficient when you're cutting with only the direction that the teeth are meant to cut. Otherwise, if you're trying to cut in the other direction and you're pushing down, then it's likely that your teeth will get caught in the material. One thing I should mention about the coping saw is that it snaps quite often. Make sure you don't over tighten the blade because this wears out the pins on each side of the blade and you'll have to replace these pins. So I did this just by hammering out the old pins from my snapped blades and using a pair of pliers and a bit of force to push the new pins into the blade. I think throughout this project, I went through about 12 blades. Now another thing that can really help is to use a coolant lubricant, which will help the blade cut more smoothly. I find that uh, using WD-40 works just fine. And I'll spray this onto the metal on the blade every time that my teeth get stuck. I've also tried cutting something thicker, a galvanized steel tube. And that being about a, an eighth of an inch took a little bit longer to cut through because it is more material. It also requires a lot more effort to remove that material because you're cutting in such a fine uh, increment. So if you're planning to cut thicker metal, then I would highly recommend you look into getting either a angle grinder or you would cut it on a bandsaw. All right, so that's the end of today's video. If you're interested in this project that I was working on, it was a custom PC case that I can looks like that and you can see that project's progression on my instagram at kyle underscore makes or you can subscribe to my youtube channel i'll be posting weekly updates on that thank you so much for watching i'll see you guys in the next one